Brilliant. And you're obviously head of business development, aren't you, yourself, Mm -hmm. which is always incredible. And what kind of things are included in in your role as head of business development? Sure, yeah. So I suppose my function in the charity is about looking at what we're trying to achieve Mm -hmm. and then matching that to the different types of kind of funding and activities that we can um, develop to achieve that that goal so quite often um, a lot of my work will focus around the programs so designing Mm. and developing new programs so just to give you a bit of a flavor we've got programs from um, that tackle female empowerment to uh, financial capability how to manage your money to mental health and well-being Uh, to like road safety and you know kind of really niche things Um, but all kind of different types of um, of life skills um, and often things that won't be covered in um, the national curriculum Um, so yeah particularly things like how to manage your money which a lot of young people feel like they'll leave school and not um, not necessarily have those skills so I'll look at kind of um, understanding what the need is, what the gaps are, what young people are asking for. Um, you know, in right now, that's a lot of things around youth unemployment. So it's mm-hmm. a lot of people asking uh, asking for that, and um, a mental health crisis in the wake of of COVID. So we are, you know, kind of particularly looking at um, pots of funding and different, whether that's corporates or government or trusts and foundations who want to fund work with young people in this space, and will co-develop then um, a program or a work stream of support um, that we can then um, deliver and, and kind of get out to the various youth organisations. In amazing, network. amazing. And you mentioned obviously COVID there as well. How has that affected mm-hmm. you as a whole within UK youth? Has it, how you, has it kind of affected you quite badly? I mean, yeah, it's been, it's, I think it's been tough for everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, and it, I think just the I guess the first thing was just kind of hitting without you know without much warning and so nobody really had prepared for this right um and so you know the first thing was really ensuring kind of the financial stability of the charity because some you know, quite a lot of our funding is tied to delivery so if we couldn't deliver the programs that support young people kind of face to face if that couldn't happen um then potentially that kind of funding was at risk and so we needed to do um some work uh, kind of with our current partners to look at kind of how um how to use that funding and then and then to go out for more you know, kind of for more funding um from a number of the kind of emergency funds that were set up. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased to say we're kind of um, yeah. through that, um, that first kind of uh, yeah, shaky bit now. And then I think it's been, you know, as we touched on really at the beginning, all the other different ways, you know, people working from home, not being, haven't seen our colleagues for six months, um, trying to keep kind of motivation, trying to keep focused. Um, and, you know, as a national charity supporting young people and, and being there for young people, we've had to obviously respond to the varying uh, and evolving needs of young people during this time. So we've put on a series of events, we did a reimagine uh, the future kind of series of events for young people, um, covering things like financial security, employability, racial justice, um, you know, really trying to kind of listen to what young people um, really care about at the moment and respond to that and give them a voice and uh, and show them that somebody's listening as well so it's it very fast paced yeah i can imagine because always i know how many like you mentioned earlier about how many thousands of people you work with as well mm-hmm. especially with the millions as well over the years like, how kind of difficult is it to work with so many people and to make sure that everyone gets what they need in order to move forward in life yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. that's a big question yeah, 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 no. it's, very, it's very difficult i think i suppose for uk youth one of the main sort of um mechanisms that we do that through is is by having this this movement this network so you know we have kind of we have two strands to that we have like 200 about 200 or so innovators who are um these youth organizations that will work closely with us on policy and um kind of influencing strategy for the sector so a smaller group initially of kind of quite influential organizations that helps us um kind of focus and work together and then together with those 200 um organizations we then kind of reach the the larger numbers underneath 
um, okay. and look at kind of really good ways of, um, again, as kind of mechanisms for listening um, and to, to disseminate information down. So I think it's about kind of webs, networks, <laughs> um, yeah. and obviously kind of a lot of good communications. You know, we've got to be very, very vocal on um, on social media, be out there, be kind of loud and um, making sure that, you know, kind of people can hear us. We've obviously got a number, you know, we're there for young people, but a lot of our um, messaging needs to speak to governments, needs to speak to organisations and local authorities and all the rest of it. So we have to kind of really make sure that we're making a lot of noise, um, that we're, I think, you know, the strength of the network is in having lots and lots of local um organizations that know their local context better than we do you know we wouldn't profess to know that as a national charity and centralize everything that just wouldn't make any sense so mm -hmm. we kind of have to be able to set up models where we can trust and, and kind of get funding out and get people to kind of do their thing in their uh, local area and then if we can listen back and see what works and then kind of kind of produce more of that i guess as a cycle that's that's what we try and do but it's um it, it requires a lot of data if i'm honest yeah, like, yeah, I can imagine. Kind of 